Eastern. We could not be more excited about our next guest. He could not be more excited about the Cardinals in this game tomorrow. We are joined by the biggest Cardinals fan we've decided and declared here on the program, a bona fide country music superstar and our favorite coach on the Emmy Award winning show, The Voice. Please welcome back to the table and say good yeah. football, Blake yeah. Shelton. Okay. Okay, there is nothing weird about saying the undefeated Cardinals. That Everything is right about that. There's nothing weird about saying yes. that. It feels good, and you might stay undefeated after tomorrow night. Let's talk about it. Blake, love having you on the show. This is the biggest Thursday night football that we can remember. The Cardinals 7-0. It sounds right. It feels right. Did you ever think you'd see the day? Tell us how it feels to be a Cardinals fan right now. Well, um, you know what? It feels right. I swear it feels right. And uh, and I haven't even been thinking about uh, uh, what a big deal uh, this game is until I started watching uh, you guys' show yesterday morning and then again this morning waiting to be on here. And you guys keep talking about it this way. And now I'm starting to freak out a little bit. And I heard uh, yeah. one of you guys, uh, Kyle or, or Peter, or somebody was talking about uh, – uh, you know, that playoff game in in uh, 2015. But two weeks before that game, I, Gwen and I, it was like our first public date that we ever went on. We went to uh, Green Bay and Arizona game. Uh, and it was like two weeks before that playoff game. And we absolutely smeared Green Bay uh, that night. And I ran into Aaron Rodgers a couple, a couple of years after that. And, and, uh, he knew I was at the game that night. We, he was laughing. He goes, of all games for you to go to, but, uh, I, I'm fired up about this thing. I got my campfire out here that I'm going to fire up tomorrow and nice. I'm start drink. yes. I'm going to start drinking right now. Actually, I'm going to start drinking. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got the my, hype uh, is out, is out of, What's got that? my Hail Murray. Hail, Hail Murray. Hail Murray. Oh, yeah. Always with the money. Hey, it'd sure be cool oh. if you did. Bring it on. Pretty good. I we heard, got our good morning um, footballs. There you go. Peter. Wrong side. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> good job. We have our mugs, too. We know that we're going to try to get you one of these. I, uh, Kay said that you're our favorite coach on The Voice. I'm actually an Ariana oh, Grande fan. I knew you were going to say that. Talk about it, Peter. I'm sorry, not. Blake. But I do like I'm your, not gonna allow I do you like your work. You're not going to talk to me this way on television, Peter. I can't allow that. <laughs> 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 the hype for the Cardinals is actually warranted. They've been so good this season, and it's got to be such a pleasure to watch. But here comes Rodgers. You mentioned that you guys have a relationship. You've seen him play before. You know he's the big bad wolf. What do you think as far as this being the big stage, big game, and now everyone's watching your team, and this guy's walking in the building? Ah, why are you doing this to me? Stop it. <laughs> I mean, I know what we're doing. I know there's a television show, and you got to do this. you got to hop it up and talk about all these stats. It's just another normal game. That's all it is. Stop doing this to me. I know that's not good for your show. <laughs> it's just a walk in the park for the Cardinals. The Green Bay, they're 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 injured. Uh, Y'all said that two, their two wide receivers are out. I mean, I wouldn't even tune in, America. <laughs> <laughs> that's the message we want here in the NFL Network from Blake Shelton. Don't even <laughs> tune in, America. <laughs> that's perfect. And don't watch The Voice. No, Blake. Um, Wait a minute, you, Kyle, you mentioned stop. you're going to start please, drink. Please, yes. Please let me. <laughs> Please let me just for a second, because yes. uh, yesterday yesterday morning, we got to talk about this. I know you probably heard plenty about right. it already, but I woke up oh, yesterday no. morning and I told Gwen and I told uh, the youngest boy, Apollo, I said, y'all got to come down here and watch this guy do this segment on the show. It's called Angry Runs. Yes. And immediately, so. and it was a disaster from the second you walked out I there know. from the, you broke the damn uh, trophy. <laughs> Your fly was out. The kids were crying in the house, running away from the television. Gwen was covering their eyes. Oh, no. Why are you doing this? You know, terrible way to wake up yesterday morning. And and uh, so now, please go on with your question. I'm sorry. Please go on. Wait, now that that's out of the way. It was an absolute disaster. Blake, you're right. It was just in time for Halloween. It was terrifying. And that was just with the scepter breaking. And then... I had the wardrobe felt malfunction, and I, I hate that your family and and, and that Gwen especially had to see that. And, and I know that there's a B A N A N A S joke to be made, but I'm not doing it. Don't do it, Blake. Don't do I would it. never do that on this program. Um, okay. And the worst part is nobody more of a plantain. More of a plantain. Come on. Oh my.
my God. Get yeah. I, I listen. Yeah. And I'm going to end it there. All I know is that this nobody is awesome. looked out for me, Blake. The boys around here are not drinking that ice cold beer and chewing mm -hmm. tobacco mm -hmm. and spitting. They're just leaving you hanging. Um, we need to talk about your tailgate. All right, because I we, we know you. You probably got that great smoker and you get that smoke ring on the brisket and you do the ribs, you do the oh, yeah. beautiful stuff. How are you getting ready? Oh, you're talking about this huge yeah. Thursday night yeah. football game. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm ready. In fact, uh, I went to uh, the, the uh, Cleveland game a couple of weeks ago. I was there. And I'm going to try, along with the, with the smoker and you know, drinking beer and with the boys around here, all that stuff, I got uh, – this is like show and tell nice. for me because I've had a chance to thank uh, DeAndre Hopkins uh, signed his, his jersey after the Cleveland game the other awesome. day. I hope you can see it on there. Uh, awesome. to was, uh, so I'm going to try to put this on uh, tomorrow. It's, I don't know if that'll work, but I'll have this on. I'll be uh, okay. smoking some ribs. Got some friends coming over. Like I said, I got I got my fire pit. I don't know if you can see it down there. I think you can. Uh -huh. uh, that's my Cardinals yeah. bar. It's, it's actually raining right now, or I would be out there uh, doing this segment from, from from the bar. I don't know if yeah, that answers. We, we could see it. But Blake, it looks like God's country to me. It does. Um, I love that you're on here roasting my boys right here. This is great. Man, this is great I've been waiting. Uh, we could do this. If you're free for the rest of the show, I would love to hear you just go at it He's a got little it. bit more and just mm -hmm. make Listen. fun of Kyle even more. You can't get enough Listen. of that. Sean, I have been listening to those two guys for the last three years kick my Arizona Cardinals in the nuts every single week. <laughs> I've been waiting for a year like this. To be a guest on the show and to have my Arizona Cardinals moment. I love it. No, no doubt. They've got away with words. And uh, previously, they put a big F you in your future. I know. Uh, let's talk about your music. Um, listen, you, you got a new single no, I, no, out. taking Kyle's gig. He's the pop culture whiz. Kyle is supposed to be uh -huh, the pop uh -huh. culture whiz. And you're taking all the time. No, no, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, I didn't mean to let the air out of his fly. I mean, tire. Um, <laughs> wow, Sean is dialing. Let's go to your music. We're talking a lot of football. This is great. But look, we got you on. I want to hear, I want to hear about some of your new stuff. All right, come back as a country boy. It's written by Hardy, who I actually had a chance to meet. Talk about one cool cat. That dude, you give him a guitar as well. He's not scared to strum it a little bit. Tell us about this song. What's it all about? And what should fans look for? Well, speaking of the most hot things of all time <laughs> i have a new song out it's not just it's not just thursday night football kyle uh so i, I have this song and you're right hardy did um uh, he co-wrote the song actually and they, they sent it over he, he wrote another song that i cut uh, about two years ago called god's country and so uh, you know anytime hardy sends something over to me i'm gonna jump at the opportunity to, to hear what it is and uh fell in love with this song it's it's crazy it's not like anything else i've ever cut before and i'm i'm fired up about it. i'm going to listen to this song just as the game is, is starting tomorrow night mm, perfect nice yeah, my own we love it. we'll have more <laughs> i'm going to listen to my own music <laughs> <laughs> that's cool we're here for it blake we love having you on the show you're not going to go anywhere we'll take a short break with you thank you for not sending any venom my way i speak very highly of your arizona cardinals you're the best we'll get a preview get your prediction will. for tomorrow you and night. will got Guys, we're bringing in Blake Shelton again because this was excellent. And that is the photo that we wanted to show. We showed it earlier. But, uh, this, this might be from the 2001 song Austin. I'm not sure. Blake, take us back in time. Tell us when this photo is from. Where is that from? And can you still grow those luscious locks today? I don't know. I can't remember. I, that could have been high school. And you got to admit, yeah. I mean, I, look, I was beating the cheerleaders off back then it was uh, I mean, i'm talking about when you have a mullet like that i mean mm -hmm. uh, the girls were going wild over that mullet let me tell you mm. sure they were is that, uh blake i love is that it. really no, what we're doing answer. right here on this national that's television what I'm do. Show. you, you mess with us hey, aaron roger aaron roger's got long hair you mess with us you're it's in good company give and take mm -hmm. uh, no that's we fair, love having fair. you on man and we love we love how much you love the Cardinals. But we also love The Voice, and that's with, with no jokes about it. 21st season, The Voice. You're the reigning winning coach. Eight team wins on, on your resume. What do you think the key is 
to the success being such a sensation of a show the last few years? Why, are, why is this show still the, 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 the gold standard when it comes to these singing shows? Well, I think uh, a lot of it has to do with, it's funny, I thought about this earlier. The, you know, I also started out on, on a show with, with four cast members and, and uh, it's been a long time ago now. And uh, I think it comes down to, uh, you know, casting. I, I really do because I think, you know, with, with the voice, uh, you know, it's weird. And, and, you know, we have the, 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 our backs are to these singers and we hit this button. I remember when I first signed on for the show, the first time I met Adam Levine, like the first meeting we even had a production meeting, we were both, we were both kind of thinking like, man, this is so stupid. Like nobody's going to watch this show. I mean, it's a big red button. And it's like, you tear it and you turn around like, what is going on? And, and, and come to find out, you know, between that and then uh, just the, the, the oddness of, you know, of, you know, a pop at the time, you know, this pop diva, uh, Christina Aguilera and this country singer that no one's ever heard of. And, and Adam Levine and CeeLo, just a weird combination of people. And I think it was interesting to people to watch us interact, you know, and then, and then once they, they tune in for that, then they get hooked on what the actual show is and, and, and what we're trying to do with these singers and how many talented people there are out there that, that are undiscovered. It's unbelievable. I think that really resonates with us. I think we started the show and thought no one will watch, and then all of a sudden Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton are tuning in to watch Kyle with his fly down <laughs> oh, yeah. break things on national television. That really, you know that they will come. That really That's resonates true. with us. Uh, we know you're very excited. Very edgy show you Go guys ahead. have yeah, that's right. <laughs> we try morning television at its finest. Uh, Packers Cardinals epic game. We don't want to get in your head too much, but I do want to know maybe just manifest how you would like to see it play out. What is your prediction for Packers Cardinals tomorrow? You're talking chemistry with your castmates, Kyler Murray to DeAndre Hopkins, Kyler Murray to my favorite guy, Rondell Moore. How do you see it going and how much do the Cardinals win by? Well, you know, I, it's funny because people come over and they'll watch uh, games with me. And, you know, like last last week, you know, I had a, I had literally had a friend go, man, this is boring. And, and like got up and was off doing something else because we were we were so far ahead, uh, you know, and and I want that to happen again. I don't want it to be a, a close game. I want it to be one of those games where you guys are starting to promote whatever's next Thursday, you know, halfway through and showing some highlights and stuff because <laughs> You know, maybe it would be better if there was two Thursday night games so you could, you could like, you know, stop the feed on this game and go to whatever other game is closer, you know. That's what I want. And now, is that what I'm predicting? I, I'm not going to predict anything. I'm mm. not going to do it, okay? Is that because you're not confident, Blake? Oh. Uh... Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not confident. What do you mean? We're still Arizona. We're still Arizona. You never know when the okay. the, the meteor is going to come out of the you know sky and smash into uh, you know the the stadium and and for whatever reason you know we it doesn't come together. I've seen this this show a million times, but uh, you know. I don't know what to say, Kyle. That's that's a what good one. I, I will, let's let's tap into that. You have will, a little bit. What, what do you got there? I have my Kyler. I have my good okay. luck, Kyler Murray. Uh, uh, it's his uh, rookie card, and I and I will and I will have that with me tomorrow. I feel like that brings me a little extra luck. Uh, I don't know. I'm All just right, trying so to Blake, feel you. you. You have a certain neuroses <laughs> as a fan, which I get. What was your reaction? As a fan, when you found out in this game, Devontae Adams may not play, Alan Lazard may not play, is that, oh, good, now we can make it easier to win? Or does that put more pressure on the Cardinals yes. in the biggest game? Yes, Kyle. Yes, it does, Kyle, because that's what always happens in these things. It's these, it's these games where you go, oh, my gosh, they don't even have – you know, the, 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 the bus crashed on the way to the stadium. They're going to be freaked out over that. You know, it's that we're, we're bound to win. They don't have their receivers, right. you know, uh, it, it's, okay. and, and those are the times where you find out like us last week, we didn't have or two weeks ago when we didn't have Cliff Kingsbury there. It's like, you're going, Oh no, we don't have the coach. And then we end up, you know, 
blowing them out at that game where it, mm-hmm. you go, there's no way it's going to work out that way. So I'm just trying not to think about it. It's making me sweat, Kyle. You're making me sweat. <laughs> what guys? All right. Enough, enough of the hard work. questions for Blake. We, we don't want to see him sweating bullets over there. We're going to go two minute offense right now. All right. We're going, we're at the line. We got to go quick right here. Uh, we're, we're talking football music. I, I want to know for this. I'm a former old lineman. What are you serving for food at, mm. at this party? And what's in your cup? I, I know you named the dogs, but who picks out the food? Man, you're so good at this, Sean. Why don't they just give you this seat now? I mean, all these little, you got all the song titles in there. You're great, great at the segue and stuff. <laughs> Your eyes look beautiful on camera. They do. Um, now I'm sweating. You know, uh, <laughs> I think I'm just going to have uh, some, some like finger foods and stuff. And I, I tell you, I like to make uh, sausage balls. Uh, okay. And uh, make them out of like Cheez Its and cheese and sausage and all this stuff. I just kind of put it together and then I have that. And that they're great delicious. food that you Sounds can like a throw. Good meat sweat. It's a great food to throw when you get upset or excited. <laughs> uh, and, they, and they taste delicious. So I'll mostly be drinking. You know, I'm never going to be one of these guys that, that gets on your show and is not completely honest. I, I will. My man. I won't be driving anywhere by halftime. I promise you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why you want the game to be. Neither will the Cardinals. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Good one, Kyle. That's it. Um, <laughs> you're the best, man. This is great. Uh, yeah. Real quick. Good again, turn it around in his fun. red chair. Okay. That's right. How do you like it now, Shelton? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sing us a song. Maybe we'll turn around and face you. Go ahead, Peter. You said Gwen uh, watched the Egg Runs. I got to I mean, Gwen Stefani, I was a huge No Doubt fan. Still am a Gwen Stefani fan. Like, what is her thoughts on the show? Does Gwen Stefani watch Good Morning Football? That makes no sense to us here. Mm-hmm. She, has, she doesn't have a choice because I'm, I'm normally, if we wake up at the same time, I'm usually the first one to get to the TV and, and, I, and I turn it on. It's you guys. It's always you guys and Will Selva. And she doesn't really have a choice. So she's she's gotten to know you guys over the years, uh, whether she likes it or not. But I like to think that she likes it. Ah, so do we. It's awesome. It's, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. surreal to us, Blake. With Trust your me. Blake Shelton, thank you so much for stopping so by good. the show. Good luck tomorrow. Enjoy it. I'm a little bummed out you aren't more confident, but hopefully they can win that trust from you tomorrow mm-hmm. night. See red. Thank you, Blake. Yes. Red. Appreciate you, Blake.